So why virtual destructor makes sense? Let's see that. If you see this, we have this virtual employee. This is a base class and we are inheriting this employee into manager. So this manager is a derived class. Now employees pointer is pointing to manager, which is a derived class object. And we are going to delete this E. If this virtual is not there, then this delete will think, okay, I am holding employee pointer. I will just call the destructor of the employee. Whereas you are actually holding manager object in that. So without virtual, you will never know what is actually inside your employee pointer. That's why it is advisable to create your virtual destructors. I mean, destructor virtuals. And when you have virtual destructor in your base class, the moment this delete is executed, it will know, okay, even if I am the pointer of employee, but I actually hold manager object. So first I should call managers destructor and then I will call employees destructor. Make sense? Cool, right? Thanks for watching.